Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfire Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Um, this is my second attempt at making this video, because I seem to have the worst look ever at the moment. Um, I started making this video yesterday, and uh, my laptop suddenly died. Just poof, gone, everything. Uh, turns out my battery's not working, because it's plugged in most of the time. And um, for some reason, I'd caught the power lead on my laptop and broken a connection. So I, uh, I spent last night ripping my laptop apart and repairing it. So it's up and running now, and uh, I'm back in the game. Um, I probably could have saved what I'd done as an MKV file, but I tend to just save it straight to MP4, I can't be bothered with conversion. And if I lose something, I lose something. That's what I did yesterday. Anyway, so, back in the game. So what have I done since we were last year? Uh, I can't remember if I moved that since we were last year. I think I did. I've moved all this over here now, out of the way. Um, I put some more panels in, I put a few more vents in, just to tidy things up. Um, what else have I done? The, you will see that um, this is not working right at the moment. We'll fix that. We'll go out and fix that shortly. Um, is my helmet closed? Just make sure my helmet's closed. Yes, it is. Other changes I've made that I can show before it gets too dark. Come on, door. Uh, I put a few more um, frames along here just to aid with running backwards and forwards. I need to get some more in there. So the biggest change is I've now got four batteries here. So the ones that are on the roof over there is now here along with the one that was here and I've added another two. So I've now got four batteries here. I've also changed the layout of these. I've changed the layout of these so we're in lines. I've now staggered them because when we're in lines I was losing about 40% of the sun getting to them and sort of the ones at the back we're getting about 300 watts instead of the nearly 500 watts so I've staggered all these. I've also made them now a dual connection so power and um, network on the same side which means I need to tweak my um, programming slightly but not much um, but just basically to say the horizontal where we were in the horizontal plane um, and rotated the sun sensor um, what we've got here so the minute we've got oh, one point and just over one kilowatt being produced. Why is that? Why did it say one kilowatt? Because that's all I'm drawing. That's all required. That's why. Um, these are all fully charged. Um, so I'm only accepting what power I need, which is the one kilowatt that my base needs. Um, the reason I've done this is I mentioned in my previous video about re using a deep miner when that needs 500 watts, constant 500 watts so I just need to make sure I have enough power to run that I probably was going from now to run 2 or 3 of them to be honest uh, but yeah, so that was a change um, as well as these frames here I have let's jump over that hole expanded out this way again this is future expansion um, I may put the, well, I'm going to put uh, a fuel tank on, fuel farm on here to begin with so it's close to my um, furnace so it might go here actually um, and then I'll put the deep miners possibly out that way or maybe it's that way I haven't decided yet and the combustion centrifuge uh, somewhere over here uh, I need space around here because one what I want to do is set up a load of SDB silos um, An SDB silo is basically a big storage tank um, which has an input at the back, a shoot input at the back at the top and a shoot output at the front, at the bottom. Um, and they hold 600 items, yeah, up to 600 items. So if you stack your ores before they go in, that's 2600 times 50, which is what, 30,000 ore in each um, silo, which is quite a lot. But to do that you need a sorter to sort out which ores going into which silo, a stacker to stack the ores in the stacks of 50, and then obviously SPD silos. Um, initially I won't worry that, initially I'll just set up the deep miners with, or the deep miner with the combustion centrifuge and I'll manually sort the ores as they come out of that because it'll, it'll just be quicker to show you how that's all set up and then longer term I will set up the SDB silos with the sorting, the automated sorting. And once I've got the automated sorting set up I can also use it for um, 
the Amy bot once I set that going it will come back dump the ore into a chute that chute can be linked to the SDB system so it automatically gets sorted um, and also uh, the rocket the same actually what I might do is I might connect the combustion chamber to a vending machine so that will allow me to store about six a stack of 60 I think it is um, yeah I think I might do that okay so first things first let's um, sort out my power reading inside because obviously at the minute it's just it's stuck on 1250 1250 1215 1225 so just make sure I've got the cabling so that's a pickup there coming out they're picking up the main bus for the power feed into the batteries um, I also touched the sort of fuel generator here because initially when I was doing all this I drained all the batteries down obviously flat as I moved them and had to get some initial charging there so I threw uh, some coal in there just to get the charge in um, yep so this has all been moved here now so you can see here same when you're pulling one kilowatt at the moment uh, that is yeah come on that is the reading output which is going so long and into my base there so I need to connect that up inside and I think I've already renamed this but let me double check Let me just double check quickly. Power in analyzer. PWR in analyzer. Yeah, that's fine. If you're using a slave, you must remember it turned off because it drains the battery very rapidly otherwise. Alright. Just run across here now. And let's quickly go back inside. And while we're in here, let's sort out a waste tank. Okay, so there's a cable coming in, so I just need to connect this up now. Uh, that's damaged slightly because it was in a, I dropped it in a storm, but managed to capture it again, but it got slightly damaged. It doesn't harm it. Okay, so that is... That connected and now I need to this one's flashing orange because it's in error I need to know what to connect to I think it's um, that's a power out I think this one needs to be power in analyzer okay so gone green and there we go we got 130 watts that's probably some our Wind generators, are they spinning? Very slowly. Okay. Um, obviously the sun's gone... Oh yeah, it's dropping down. It must have been the last of the sun. So, during the night we've got 46 watts coming in and we're pulling a kilowatt, effectively. We can shut that. So that's that sorted. So next thing, let's go and start building our deep miner. Okay, for water, food, oxygen, waste, yeah, it's all okay. Um, deep miner. Let's build that. I already had the material, I, I stuck it in here in preparation. You know how to smelt it all on this. You don't need to see how to do all that again. So that'll take a few moments to smelt. Um, what did I want on here? I need pipes. Actually, I need tanks. Tank kit. I need three tanks. Let's just switch out and build more than one of them. This should be a bit quicker. Come on. So, what I'm going to do set up a small fuel farm as well. It says one tank. Now, how do I want to do this? I want to feed fuel into there. So, I probably just want my nitrogen tank on this end. Like so. Go on, getting stuck. Let's wait, that one's finishing. Okay, and now I need pie, um, ice crushers. 
I need two of those. Where to put that? There we go. Um, is that right? Is that in line? Yeah, that's right. There and. No, I put that one too far back. I thought I had. Do, do, do. No. You. There we go. So those are three tanks. Two ice crushers. I need an atmospheric unit. How are we doing? Oh, we've got that. That's good. Okay, can I get you... Um, Combustion center view, have I got enough for that? I do. You can go in my backpack. I want to build one of those. What's that atmospheric unit? I need some um, nitrogen filters. Where are they? Nitrogen, nitrogen, there we go. We need two of those. One. Oh, I stopped before. It. A bit too early then. Two. And now I need pipes. How much? Uh, pipes. Lots of pipes. So I just let that run. I'll end up with pipes flying around all over the place, probably. Um, ice crusher. So I want one ice crusher. Probably. Here, or further over. Let's think about where do I want the atmospheric, which is the atmospheric unit. There we go, that one. Um, waste is to the right. Is that right? That's waste. So I'll make black my nitrogen tank. I moved up, made that too close. There we go. So that's my filtered output, which is a nitrogen, which will go to there. The waste will go there, which will be the volatiles, oxygen into there. So this one's. Um, oh, didn't want to do that. That's. Uh, one ice crusher. The other one wants to go there. All right, let's see how we're doing on our pipes. The probably flying everywhere. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh, I've got twenty. <laughs> Even up here, look. <laughs> totally go everywhere. Right, let's pick these up. I should have probably another 20 or so here. How would that get turned off? That's odd. One of them must have hit the switch or something. Because I certainly didn't touch it. That's 40 for now. That'll do. Right, this atmospheric soon, so I'll take a couple of pipes. We say that was the waste. Um, so you can come out. There, you are the nitrogen, so you're the filtered. You go there, and you are just a straight input from um, the ice crusher. Sorry, that's that's the volatiles. That's the uh, nitrogen. That's the oxygen. Um, you just want to go straight up and into there. Right. What do I need for these? 
Uh, welding torch, two iron sheets. I've got any iron sheets on me? No. So let's quickly print some iron sheets. I've got an iron in here. Yeah, I do. You can go in there. Let's print a few of these. Go. That. So welding torch. Uh, I think it's cables and screwdriver. Because just cables, just cables. There we go. That's that. Um, you need. what you need just screwdriver is it? it's just a screwdriver just a screwdriver and I built the wrong thing bugger <laughs> that was meant to be a filter not a um, air conditioner hand drill deconstruct bear with me won't we'll quickly replace this the cables back um wrench no your wrench is meant to go me hand on the floor Cover pipes and then um what do i have to drill right it's the same layout um there we go that is the unfiltered so the oxygen will go in there nitrogen there right Oh, um, pipes. Um, there we go. And now uh, two nitrogen filters can go in there. And need to power all this up. So let's. that more cables oh yeah I've got plenty of cables let's run this down over here one yeah I can so what I want to do later is make sure that I've got so shoots attached to this with ice in them um, and I only want to crush the ice as these to have space so I don't over pressurize those tanks um, going where is the so I need to lift those there's a power in so I can pick that up let's go this way a bit Oh, too far. Okay. I can now if I can rotate these the right way. There we go. Place those. Um I'm actually going to Yeah, prop is here. Stick a transformer in here. Yeah, that's the right way. Turned on. And swack it up. I just need a few. So turn off kilowatts. 
uh, just so this is on its own dedicated network and I'll attach other bits and pieces to it. So now these should all be operating, yeah, that's operating, that's operating, yeah. Most important bit of all... Let's colour code them. So this is volatiles. Okay. Let's stick it down the bottom for the moment. Um, I need. Uh, where is the game? Hydration critical. Black. Have I got any black? No. I've got the iron in here. A little bit. in here keep them safe black paint white paint yes I know I need water stop beeping in my ear um, that is the nitrogen this side so black black your nitrogen filter and then white for oxygen boom is that right do, do. make sure I got this right filtered no I got the wrong way around damn damn it <laughs> Thought I got that wrong then. Doesn't matter, it's only a bit of paint. There we go. Right, turn you on. Turn you on. Let's get rid of them for the moment. And I know I have a load of um ores on me. Right, where well, they're running, let me just go and uh sort out my hydration. It's saying as we're here and it's complaining. Um, no, we went there for a moment. Let's move some of this down. and then put it all back on again well I've never noticed that before the tank hanging off these mining belt makes sense I guess helmet glasses spade suit clothing 84 that's fine how's our belt doing 4% that's about to run out so let's just Swap that one out. Oxygen. Uh, let's go swap. Our, let's go swap our oxygen tank. And I'll need to turn. Do, do, do. You on or you already on? You already on. So you should be pressurising. Yeah, there we go. Pulling it from there. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do for now. So we've got oxygen. Yeah, might as well. Empty this over here. That's done, that's done. Backpack's fine. Jetpack's fine, sorry. But locked in, yeah, it did. Have it closed? Yeah. Right. So let's stick some more ice in here. If I look in this, you can now see I've got uh, just over one kilomole of volatiles. 
That's got nothing in it yet because I haven't turned you on. That's now got, um, yeah, pressure and the mol uh, it's about moles in there's going up. Same with this one. We now got um, why is the volatiles in there? What, 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 what? If I just put volatiles in there? No, 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 no. Oh, that's right on that one. Oh, frigate. <laughs> Let me just grab a... You're meant to see me stop me doing things, stupid things like that. <laughs> um, Volatiles filter. Oh, no iron. Sign in there. It's always the last thing to come out as well. I'm so glad I checked that. Um, Okay, and print that. And I want a cowling. Right, and you can just go and reconfigure this filter quickly so I can get rid of the. Volatiles. Um, 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 it's not the end of the world. All I need to do is disconnect that. You all the filtered. So you can go there. You can go there. Disconnect that. Uh, I've got my pipe somewhere, I'm sure I have. Yeah, I have it. All this will do is recirculate the air to get the volatiles out of there and it will vent the volatiles. So now, hopefully. The volatiles should be going down, yeah, they are. And the uh, O2 staying the same. Right, so yeah, just let that run through. Stupid person I am sometimes. Stick that in there. Okay, that is the right one. That's why I'm mocking right. So I need to paint this white. Just. White? Yeah, let's paint this white, just so I know it's for the oxygen. Right, so that's sorted. Um, I will need to run pipes out, I need some gauges, some meters. Do, do, do. Um, pipe meters, just a couple of these. Okay, and then I need a you a gas gas mixer I've got everything, oh, I've got everything for that as well awesome I only want to build one of those so um, let's dump the paint in here for the moment I can come back and get it later Mixture probably is about here, say input one, input two, input one as volatiles. So, 
Let's run some piping in for that. And a ball start up. <laughs> Let's move this. It's easiest way. Move this. Um, like so. And now just into there. And this will be when I connect it up properly. power for the mixer so input one which is oh it's input two sorry input two is volatiles input one is oxygen so I want 33% oxygen and 66 67% volatiles to give us our gas mixture all right how are we doing on here we're sorting out my mess up Now we're getting there slowly. Nearly all gone. One there. One there. Just so I can see what the pressures are. Oh, this one's got pressure because it's connected to that tank. This one doesn't, doesn't yet because I haven't connected it to there. red paint. I haven't got this. There's a, a plug-in you can get with network something or other, I can't remember what it's called, which will automatically paint a whole network when you sp uh, spray one item on it. So literally paint all this pipe in one go. And that's an empty bottle now. So I need another red paint. And I want orange. Fuel mixture and brown. For waste. Oh, there's a deep miner. Oh, there's a combust. Okay. I found what I was looking for. So, combustion. Just take like that. That's the fuel in on that side. Let's put it over there. This now needs. What does this need to finish building it? Steel sheet in right hand. Um, steel sheets. Uh, cable coil. And screwdriver. That's just cable coil, just cable coil. That's it. That's it done. I need power to this. I've got plenty of power cables. Um, just connect the, net the network connection as well. Wire cutters. OK, 
Okay, as I've finished sorting out the point four millimoles. It's nearly there. Is there anything left in that filter? Oh yeah, filter's fine. Point zero zero six, point zero zero five. Come on. It can take a little while to finish these last few dregs off. And in the meantime, let's connect up our combustion chamber and the orange paint because this is fuel like fuel to be orange uh, red finish painting that one that can go away now Run out of white here. Oh, I certainly run out of white if I do that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to run out. I'm going to need a white, a new white one. Darn. This isn't necessary colour coding ease, but it just, you know, makes life a bit easier. And it only takes one gram of iron to do it, so why the hell not? And I'm still waiting for the filter to get rid of the rest of the volatiles out of that mixture. Um, I will need that. So that can be white. Won't need that. Don't need that. Right. Are we done yet? Oh, come on. <laughs> Look how low it is. Zero percent. It's just the waste. Um, and where's that? Oh, I've got the coal on here I need, but as I finished six, come on. still loads in there. Say load, just it's a minuscule amount. It's even think it's 0.3 of a millimole. We'll just let it run until there's nothing left in there. Um, so right, what happens is the fuel comes in here, you have your deep miner feeding into here. When this is on, this is all spun up, you use these levers to spin this up. Um, that will, the deep miners will feed in dirty ore and this will then refine that dirty ore into normal ore. Everything except ices. I just needed a cowling on there so I can vent the waste gas. This does not take a lot of fuel. Um, yeah, it, it's quite efficient on the fueling. So while waiting on that, we might as well get on with our deep miner. So I will run the deep miners this way, and I'll run the SDBs that way probably. Or maybe it's that way. Maybe it's that way. Then I can use Amy on that side. Right, um, deep miner. So this is the deep miner. It's quite a big piece of kit. Um, I need to make sure I'm I get the exit shoot in the right place. I can remember where it is. Oh, there it is. I can see it just to the end there. Okay. So it needs to go. Like so. So that's the exit chute. And that's the input chute. So what do we need for this now? We need welding torch to 12 steel sheets. Wow. Okay. So let's go and get some steel sheets. So as I say in a previous episode, you know, it, it, these aren't difficult to set up. They just take a bit of time and quite a bit of material and a bit of know-how but hopefully by watching me do this you can get the know-how so you have your fuel farm feeding your combustion chamber combustion set of few sorry and then um, your deep miner it doesn't really take anything else other than once you manufacture it and power but it is quite power hungry 
That's 12. Well done. Screwdriver, five cable coils. Um, screwdriver and four electrical parts, electrical parts. Do we have enough for electrical parts? Electrical parts are printed on the electronics printer, of course. Electrical parts, what am I missing? Iron. Iron in you. I don't know if there's enough iron in there for all of them. No, I need another. There's iron in there. I'll have to take that iron. So there should be one in there already. the last bit of construction. Boom, there we go. And uh, now it just needs power. Um, cables. Bring this across. thing left to do is wait on this so and there we go we got rid of all that volatiles I stupidly put in there <sighs> what an idiot right so now just need to take you actually I need to leave that one in there didn't that was a Filtered output, yeah, I'd actually need to leave that pipe. In there, it's that one I want to remove. Paint job. That's all the white paint used, isn't it? That's all needed for white paint, yeah. Actually, no one, it's just. Where's the black paint? Now, let's put some more oxide in here, and more volatiles in here. <laughs> um, what do we have? We have, yeah, we've got pressure building in there, that's good. And pressure building in there, we've got nothing in here at the moment. Um, could have done with another meter. I'll have to do it with this. Um, let's turn our fuel mixture on. And I just want to take us up to about 4 or 5 kPa. Uh, MPa, sorry. Megapascals. If there's enough fuel... Let's 
Yeah, it's okay. Let's just take it up four for now. What I'll do is I'll get an IC set up to constantly top this pipe up. That'll do so I can turn that off. Turn this on. Ah, shoots. Shoot, I knew I needed something. I've got some shoots knocking around, but I don't think it's many. Um, oh, ten. Ooh, that might be enough, actually. If I just take it straight across. Um, make that a window. Oh, come on. Eventually what I'll do is I'll take that up and over, just just for the minute. I'm just trying to do something to show it up and running. Um, so, turn you on, and off it goes. Drill bit goes down to the ground, and that's off drilling now. And that will drill forever. You're on, there's nothing in here at the moment. You can't put a chip in here to control it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not there yet. Um, so to use this, we have to wind. Oh, I need my cowling on there. Um, can I do it? There we go. And my brown paint. By Jove, I think we're there. Site volatiles. Why are we out of power? We can't be out of power. No, I just wasn't drawing enough power through here. Wow, I'm drawing quite a few. How much power am I drawing? Three eight seven five. Wow, it's going to drain my batteries fairly quickly. Oh no, that's still quite full. Okay. That's just because the ice crushes and everything are going. Um, not because you're pulling 500 watts. So, right, where was I? Right, now we've got to get this up and running. Um, there's nothing in here yet. That'll take a while for that to start kicking something out. Um, so we've got to start this up, and what you've got to do is you've got to start it up without overstressing it. So if you just wang one of these up, you see a stress will just start climbing and climbing and climbing. Uh, that's no good. We need to do it in a staged way, and the way you move these buttons is by clicking on the top of the bottom. So set that going with a little bit of fuel. Let it run, hopefully it won't hit 100. If it hits 100, it grinds to a halt and you've got to start again. See, it's rattling a bit. Ninety four, don't hit 100. Don't hit 100. Yeah, it's failed. And all that groaning and creaking, even now I've got to wait for the stress coming down. Yeah, yeah, I've stopped you. Shh. Don't explode. That's it, stress is coming down now. Yeah, you don't want it to do that. <laughs> That's a bit wet the pants time. 
So he's drilling away, he's going, I've got gas being made. Um, I've got no more um, volatiles on me. I've got a whole 0.7 um, megapascals of gas in there. And at 140s of uh, pipe capacity. Oh, let that come back down, let's we'll try again. Let's just save a bit of power and turn all these things off. Okay. You're done, I've got another Voltars, you can go off, you can keep running. You're off. How are we doing? 12, 10, 11, sorry. Um, we're getting there slowly. Come on, just get down to zero. And then we'll try again. I can never run this one or this one to start first. Alright, let's... One of each. Ooh, it's climbing a bit quick. Nine forty, fifty. It's coming down now. That's it. The game. All right, so it come down a bit. Down the green, we'll add sort of adding a bit of gas. Come on, this can't be a bit finicky, like I said. Right. Temperature 1.18 K. Speed. Pressure and temperatures going up as is the speed. Stress is coming down. There we go, we're going now. Right, so you can see here we've got dirt urine here now. That's come out of the deep miner and it's being processed. We've got seven iron, one gold, two copper, and two hydrocarbons. And at the minute it's processing it quite slow. Well, it's actually not too bad. That will increase massively as we bring the speed up. Good sun's up, so I'll start recharging my batteries quick and I'm draining them hopefully. Once you're up around 70%, it pretty much just go all the way then. And there we go. Up to full speed, full pressure, full temperature, and zero stress. And we are now processing... And we are now processing... Uh, dirty all. Um, at the moment, there's only one of these. Oh, there we go. There's some more dirty ore coming in. It comes in batches of ten and twelve, so it did you know ten or twelve grams, and it processes fairly quickly now. And we just leave that running, and that will build up in there. Um, unfortunately, to get it out of here, you have to stop this. Um, that can't be helped. But for now, let's just. Leave it running. 
we can build more deep miners, which increase the gain of speed while harvesting the resources, but obviously Hydration critical. the issue then is, oh there's a storm coming, I saw my lights flashing, the issue then is um, the amount of power you're generating, how oh, batteries doing, oh we'll look at that, three full, one amber and going up, so that's good, that is very good. Um, have we got any steel in here? Yes, yeah, so let me print one steel frame. Because... Actually, no, one, two, three, four, five, six steel frames. Uh, steel sheets. Send you another five. I can't get through that gap. Three, two, sorry. Three, four, and five. All right, let's just weld these up. Save me falling through the holes every time I run along them. Um, the one last thing I will say is if you're building this fuel farm on the moon or somewhere like that you may have to put liquid drains on here because it can get very cold unless you use all insulated tanks uh, and obviously it'll, some of the fuel and things will start to condense out. So nitrogen, I'm gathering a nitrogen rather than just venting it because we can use it later to make nitrous oxide. That's volatiles in there as well. But I'll worry about that later. Um, that's a shame. Never mind, that, that's clean now. The O2 one's clean, which is the main thing. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll teach me about it. Okay, that's going, that's going. That's not going full chatter. We have, already we've got 15 grams of iron, 3 gold. 11 copper, 8 hydrocarbon, 1 silver, nickel, lead, and cobalt. So you can see it's collecting stuff. And I don't have to go out and mine it. it. It's just doing it for me. And that's just with one of these going. Imagine 10 of these going. And you can multiply that by 10. Um, need quite a bit of power to do that, but you could. Um, I may build another one uh, before the next episode. How are we doing on the fuel here? Because this is the other thing you've got to keep an eye on. 3.9, so we've gone from 4.2 down to 3.95, so I'm using hardly any fuel whatsoever. And in this one, as you can see, you can actually, um, there's a lot of CO2 in there, a little bit of volatile, a little bit of oxygen, and mainly and pollutants. So you can recover what's coming out there as well if you want. But as the storms just come in, and this episode's getting quite long now, I think I'm going to, um, oh, get through my gap. Go and hide for the moment in my nice big empty space station. Plants are growing well. Yeah, let's just check that. Uh, where's my tablet? I haven't seen any issue. No battery. I must have taken the battery for something. Oh, it's just flat. You notice this one's got two cartridges um, because of the advanced tablet. I always struggle with that, trying to get the switch between the cartridges, so uh, I just I don't bother. I just stick one cartridge in. These tablets aren't expensive. Um, yeah, so that's looking okay. Carbon dioxide's good. Pollutant is minimal. Means you must have run out, yes. No. There's a pollutant in here. Why is a pollutant in here? I just stick it back in there. Ah, oh, there is a little bit of pollutant in here, but it, it's going down. It might be before when I came in. Um, 
What's the pressure like? 56 kPa? Oh, you're nearly out, so... Anyway, that's it guys, thanks for watching. Um, promised I've shown you how to set up the fuel farm with a combustion centrifuge and a heavy miner uh, to generate all without you having to go mine it. Uh, we will be relying on that for a little while and get Amy set up. So that'll be my next challenge, trying to get Amy set up. There's a few bits we need to do for that and I've got to try and remember how to do it all. Um, it is more complicated than setting up the um, the deep miner. The other thing I'll start doing is start se uh, setting up the SBD silos um, and I'll show you how to do all that with a sorter and a um, stacker so that we only put full stacks into the SDB silos and get a maximum use out of it. Again it all takes a bit of power, I may have to expand my solar farm even more, get even more batteries in here, maybe another stack of four for space somewhere, I'll find space need be able to build them on this side but yeah that's all look forward to thanks for watching please hit the like and subscribe if you want to support me i do have a patreon page uh, link is in the description below and please leave a comment if even it's a bad comment let me know what's good what's bad one thing that really annoys me is when people dislike a video uh, thankfully it doesn't happen very often but it does occasionally and i don't tell you why yeah it's not hard to say you know video is rubbish or whatever or poor sound or this or that or you're talking a load of rubbish and why am I puffing away because I'm out of water I'm obviously uh, there we go uh, yeah so it, please leave a comment and I will catch you next time it's Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night